Now, we move to the anointing of the sick. And very briefly here, I'll give a couple of passages for you. The question is basically, is there any biblical evidence for this Catholic practice of anointing people with oil, right? The idea of communicating invisible realities, we call it grace, through visible signs, particularly oil. Well, I think we get a hint of the apostolic practice in Mark 6, 12 through 13. We read the following. So they went out and preached that men should repent. And they cast out many demons and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. Interesting. Notice the apostles just did not go out and lay hands and say, Be healed, brother. Right? Which they do as well, but with oil. So there was this sacramental understanding even in first century Christianity of communicating blessings through visible realities. James chapter 5 verses 14 through 16 is the essential text that the tradition of the church has always referred to for the biblical testimony of the anointing of the sick. St. James writes, Is any among you sick? Let him call for the elders. Well, is that just a bunch of old guys? No. The Greek word there, no offense, I know I'm young, but don't take offense at it, okay? <laughs> uh, the Greek word there is presbyteroi, right? Which is that Greek word for the specific ordained ministers of the New Testament church. St. James goes on to write, uh, presbyters of the church and let them pray over him, nope, there's a prayer, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick man, and the Lord will raise him up. If he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. End quote. So the first point I'd like to draw your attention to is note that St. James does not say just call, on, call in any Joe Blow. Any individual Christian brother or sister that the sick person might have good friendship with, right? Okay? Not just anybody can come and perform this action that James is talking about. No, you call in a presbyter of the church. And those presbyters come and anoint him with oil. Pray a prayer of faith and he shall be healed and sins forgiven. Note, so as you can see, this is a text for sacramental confession as well. Through the prayer of faith by the presbyter of the church, sins are forgiven. As well as the blessing of healing being forgiven, being given. Now granted, as we know theologically, a point of catechesis, the, the anointing of the sick is the sacrament that gives the grace for the strength of the soul to bear the physical sickness. Amen? Sometimes physical healing does not take place. Can it take place? Yeah, if God wills it. But it's primarily ordered to the soul for the strength of the soul to bear the cross of the physical suffering. But here we see an indication that there are times when that person will be healed in a physical way as well. The healing primarily spiritually, also the physical healing. But it comes in and through this visible sign of the anointing with oil. And then, of course, we have the forgiveness of sins being administered through the prayer of the presbyter.